Gamers have become more mainstream, and some have rose to the top. But why aren't any of these people in jail? There are thousands of videos online of these so-called internet scammers who flash their money like their lives depend on it. They say things like, I'll take a hundred risks before I work an hour, or people take life too seriously. But aside from these wild quotes, there's a scammer who rises above the rest, and his name is Punch Made Dev. He really broke into the mainstream internet world after this video that Tommy G did. In this video is absolute chaos. In one moment, he scams someone out of $10,000, and in the very next, he's giving away free food at a gas station. You can put that up here. Everything's free today. Today, I'm gonna do a deep dive on scam culture because I wanna find out why I got scammed just a couple months ago. Alrighty. So now it's time for me to understand how this actually works. So it looks like a lawyer actually did a reaction video to the original Tommy G video. Kind of curious to see what he's gonna say. Tommy G, today we're diving into the world of scamming. Everything you're about to see is purely reenactment and for educational purposes only. I just don't understand why the fuck you would do an interview like this. You go to a bank with a fucking mask on. You, my friend, are suspicious. <laughs> Yikes. On his social media platforms, he flaunts an absurd amount of money and jewelry. So when you do that, when you sit there and flaunt your cash, and remember what we said about, about the feds? You put that on social media, number one, it's never going away. Number two, guess what? You're a target. I didn't realize Punch Made Dead put this on his Instagram, so I decided to take a closer look. And after digging a little deeper, I was able to find something. So I'm doing some research now, and it looks like Punch Made Dev has a group on Telegram. The reason he has his group on Telegram is it's a Russian-owned company, and that means subpoenas don't work on them. So he's probably dropping the sauce or the uh, terrible knowledge on that telegram. Now the question is, do we join the group and fund someone that's flaunting scammy people? Yeah, I don't think that's the, the move, as they say. Someone made a punch made dev simulator. Wow, 1.1 million visits. Tell me Boy, if you don't... that one of those 1.1 million is not gonna rob you like a year from now. And Again, guys, the reason we're doing this, how do we protect ourselves in the future? I mean, this being a Roblox game, imagine how many more scammers are gonna be on the rise. You saw the videos of the two kids. Where did y'all get them snacks from? No. Where'd you get that from? We so you spent all your money on snacks? No, we robbers. What? We, we scammers. How? Yeah. I learned the method from Punch Man. <gasps> Show me man. <laughs> This is only gonna be a growing issue, so it's time for us to uh, evolve our security and do what we gotta do. Let's try it. This looks so bad. Money can be earned in many different ways. Started with scamming players using your laptop. Well, if, so, if everyone's trying to scam everyone, who's gonna fall for that? Card swipe or target wire. Oh my gosh. I hope there's like a SWAT team simulator that's like <laughs> people on the other side trying to stop us. <laughs> we can buy a Hellcat. Like this is a like this is a game. Like I know there's Grand Theft Auto, but like for some reason this game feels like it's too far. I don't like I don't know why. Alright, we're just gonna go. Okay. Oh, I got my laptop. <laughs> Let's go to Cash App. Already. I think the first thing I need is a gun. AR? Try me now. All right, time to, oh my gosh. I kind of feel bad, but we're on the streets. I mean, it's Roblox. Like, of course the, it doesn't feel as real because it's like, oh, it's a cartoon game, but just like Punch Bay Dev Simulator, like, come on. At least, yeah, at least it's hard to figure out how to scam on the game, if that makes sense. Oh, never mind. Uh, oh, that's the guy that killed me. Let's take out 10K. Oh, I don't have a card. This game's kind of fun. I'm sorry. I just need to find a card so I can actually scam people. Like, what am I saying? We gotta do some research. Punch made dev Roblox ATM card location. No one's your friend in this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, he, hey, he asked for it, so. I just wanna scam. I don't wanna get in these petty little fights. Okay, so I might've done some building off screen, as they say, and I was able to find a card. So let's see if we can make this work. Oh, wait, did I just get money? I'll have to double check, but uh, hopefully it's this hard to scam in real life, because uh, you know I haven't been able to figure it out yet. 
and uh, it's pretty uh, pretty challenging. Oh, it's, it's just messing out. That's fine. Well, this game has uh, has been kind of weird. Uh, I do not support the creation or even the playing of this game, but just the thought of kids are playing this game. It almost makes it more, almost makes it kind of funny, you know? Like, oh, I have an ATM card, like, let's go let's hit an ATM, like, let's hit a wire. It's like, ah, I don't know. Long story short, this is crazy. Now, this is a story on how I actually got scammed. It all started when I was at a restaurant. No, oh, yeah, that guy's crazy. Yeah, I don't get it at all. Ah, that's crazy, bro. Excuse me, sir, is that gonna be cash or card? Yeah, um, let's, let's do card. Appreciate it. I'll be right back with this. Excuse me, uh, this one uh, declined. Is there uh, another card you have? Are you joking? This is like $3. That is embarrassing. Here, try try this one. Appreciate it, bud, I'll be right back. I thought I got paid like a couple days ago. Excuse me, sir, uh, this one declined as well. What? Just mess with you, have a good day. My gosh. All right, bro, I'll see you later. Got declined. What? Online gambling? I didn't pay for that. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I, I logged in and all, yeah, all the money was gone. Yeah, no, 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 that was, uh, that was not me. Do you know how he would have got into my account? I didn't even think I'm going to get this money back. But how does, how does someone do that? And little did I know the extent of this crime. One out of every 10 people in the U.S. will be scammed this year. Welcome to night class. Tonight, we're going to uh, learn some street smarts. Please <laughs> do not sue me. So you wanna hit a wire. Okay, honestly though, like, I don't know if I'm gonna put this in the video. <laughs> okay, this is just for educational purposes only. Let's proceed. Let's turn on the lights for this. Step one, find some bank login information. Typically, you can get this from the dark web using Tor, the onion router. Um, not gonna go into details there, but you wanna get a collection. You wanna get your data bundled and given to you. That's step one. Now, just like any cake, before we start baking, we gotta start with the raw ingredients. We need some flowers, we need some eggs, we need whatever else is in a cake. In our case, we need data, lots of it. Step two, get a little more serious. Might turn off the lights for this one. But didn't we just have them on? I know, I feel like it's more dramatic with the lights off. Step two, two step, remember that. Step two, two step, two step verification code. What you're gonna do is, now that you try to log in, you wanna catch, is this the correct sign? You wanna catch that silly little code. You want this to be you. See how he's extending, he has great thoracic extension in order for him to catch that SMS. You need to do the same thing, but digitally. Guys, I keep, I, okay, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. YouTube, this is for educational purposes only. I don't keep saying that, but subscribe. <laughs> now, how would you even do this in the first place? Well, we can't see it in the picture, but the friend that threw you the ball, the QB, that's gonna be your boy at T-Mobile. Your boy, your quarterback at T-Mobile, uh, maybe wanted to diversify his income and is looking for ways to make more money. And in doing so, he helped Oops. Without getting into too much detail, he connects you in a way that uh, that lets you get that information. So now we're cooking, we have the SMS, but our location is different, so we gotta do something about that. <laughs> Why did I make this? So this is where we lie about our location. This is gonna be you. This is an RDP server, and you're going to yourself into their house using that device. And Verizon, the firewall is gonna be looking, 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 but they can't see you because you are blended into the location. So now it's time to hire your silly little friends to uh, go make a bank run. Now this step is optional, but you just did all that heavy lifting and it's time for someone else to put in some work. So you hire one of these fine looking fellas and you have them go to the bank. And after that, they find the money and uh, everything's good to go. But of course you're running a business. So it's time to split the profits fairly. This could be your cut and then they can, uh, they can kind of creep in there. You can get uh, just a little sprinkle if you want them to. Now this is crazy. This entire presentation. Dawson, why did you make a presentation on this? Why is it in a dramatic, theatrical form? Well, it's to educate you. And later in this video, I'm going to give you what is necessary in order for you to protect yourself from things like this. But before you hit your next wire, you gotta let the community know what you're doing. This step is optional, but Punch My Dev has made it his mission to uh, go out and do this and to let everyone and their mom know about it. So there you go. <laughs> okay, sorry. Maybe this is too far. Maybe, okay. Maybe that's too far. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now let's learn how to prevent some of this stuff. Now one of my favorite books, Art of War by Sun Tzu, we have officially put ourselves in the shoes of the enemy so that we can think like them. It is now time to learn how to protect ourselves from this. I love y'all, don't be this guy. So first and foremost, this is some crazy information, but how do we prevent this? That's why I got a special interview for you guys. You know, instead of reading an article on the web, 
I decided to format this in an interview style. So without further ado, we have a representative from the FBI who we will call Rex and a representative from a law firm that we will call Stacy. Now, Stacy, how do I spot a ripoff? Don't allow yourself to be pushed into a hurry decision. At least 99% of everything that's a good deal today will still be a good deal a week from now. Don't make any investment or purchase. You don't fully understand swindlers try to convince individuals that they are making an informed decision. Okay. No, like oh. seriously, like they'll do anything to get someone to buy something. Yes, I'm done. Okay. Now, what should the average person know about internet fraud? In 2020, there is an estimated $4.2 billion in losses. The way to avoid this is simple. If something sounds too good to be true, it is. Claims of quick profit, guaranteed returns, probably indicate a fraudulent investment. Stacey, what are some internet scams that we can look out for? A big one right now is the refund scam. This is when the IRS impersonator calls you and tries to get your email and phone number telling you that you're eligible for a tax return. Rex, I appreciate I'm you. I'm just happy to be here. The pleasure okay. is on the side of the table. What are some just general tips on protecting my data as well as my systems? It's important to keep your systems and software up to date. Install a strong antivirus program and don't open those emails that people try to send you. They could be a scam. Now, Rex, what are some other things I can do in public in order to protect myself? I'm so glad you asked this question. You gotta be careful when connecting to public Wi-Fi. You know those charging stations and airports or hotels? Usually those USB ports introduce malware or monitoring software. So use your own charger and uh, don't plug your phone into those things. Now, Rick, when I get an email, how do yeah, I Yeah, when it comes to email, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, when it comes to emails, all correspondence should be scrutinized. I mean, look at the URLs. Now, scammers often mimic a legit site just by changing the address a little bit. I want to thank you both for this interview. I really appreciate you showing up and your- Yeah, I got another meeting, so I'm gonna have to head out. See you guys. Okay. I th they just, guys, they just got up and left. Let's be honest, more people are being scammed because of Punchmade Dev. But there was one security hack I had to let you know about. And it's actually today's sponsor. Just kidding, we don't have a sponsor. If you want to support us, feel free to subscribe. Let's get back into it. Now, in the dynamic world of finance, there is emerging a game changer. Now, virtual cards offer a wide range of benefits without some of the downsides of a physical card. Wow. These virtual cards have enhanced security. They eliminate the threat of you losing a card, which come on, I feel like we've all done, or just straight up being robbed on the street. Now, the crazy thing is you can go Dave Ramsey on them, set a customized spending limit. The beautiful thing about this is you're protecting you from you. Think about that. Virtual cards are safe, and let me explain why. They're one-time use, which means when you make a purchase, it's only for that one time. All those numbers, all that information is solely for that single purchase, which means if a hacker was able to get those numbers, they couldn't do anything with it. Now, if you just want to streamline your way to security, think about a virtual card. Make this switch so you don't have to be caught with a switch. Can I get demonetized for saying that? <laughs>